Welcome back, guys. Um, so this will be uh, video three. We'll be moving on to Stay Alert and uh, Supply Raid. I uh, realized from my past two videos that my microphone sucks. <clears throat> I mumble and clear my throat too much. <laughs> um, so I'll see if I can work on that. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so finally getting our organization up so we can build a bigger squad. So I think um, both of these battles, Ambush Convoy and Stay Alert, oh, I thought it was Supply Raid, I guess it's Ambush Convoy. Um, both of them have a lot of horses, um, so I can't build my horses too large for those battles. Um, I don't know which one to do first. I think Stay Alert takes 11 people. Maybe I'll do... Um, well, this is the harder one. Well, yeah, we'll do this one first. It's the tougher one. All right, let's see. How many people do we get for this? Oh, 13. Can I even make 13? Um, yeah, I can make 15. Okay, so we're good. So my plan is to have uh, three infantry in every division. The first ones will have a melee uh, infantry as well, and then the other ones will be uh, solely shooting. Need another cavalry here. And looks like I have mostly sharps, so we'll go with them. I don't mind my uh, cavalry guy being high ranked. I tried to protect him a lot more than my melee one, oh, although. Yes, Oof, that's great, 67 melee. We'll spend a little bit on these guys. Forgot to get these, so definitely I think I'll buy all those if I can afford them. <clears throat> I think the cannons first because I'm going to want them for this battle. I normally go eight, but I only have uh, 14, so I'll just divide them into two divisions. So I don't have enough howitzers yet, only three. want one skirmisher for snipers. Mm, I don't know what rank guy to make them. Should be high rank? Probably. Oh, they'll get experience as we go along. Enfields, nice. <clears throat> um, for the scouting perks, I really like light infantry. Uh, moving faster is amazing. Cover is not as good as you think, because if you're in heavy cover, going from 100% plus 40% is still 100%, or 90% plus 40% still 100%. So it really just helps in uh, moderate cover, which still can be very useful especially for skirmishes who move around a lot. So a, a really fun perk. I just don't think it's worth the brigade. Uh, this makes no sense to me. 50% accuracy and negative 10 reload. 
when you can get the 50% accuracy here, so it's minus 10 reload versus um, stealth and spotting, which is amazing on a skirmisher unit. It's one of the reasons to build them. So it's always pickets for me. Um, the other ones just don't make sense. Maybe this one if I was doing an odd build. Where's my Kemper? Oh yeah, so Kemper is melee, so I'm going to want to give him a good melee weapon. And Harper's Ferries actually are really good for melee too. Yeah, so you can still shoot. And melee will make slightly higher. We'll keep them maybe at 1,500. Oh, plus 15% speed is amazing. Here, um, I wasn't so keen on the morale damage for horses because I'm usually using it to finish off. But with uh, infantry, you're really... Oh, it says my stream's not up. Hmm. Should be streaming. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay, good. Um, so with uh, infantry, you're much more likely to lose a battle. Um, if you get hit in the side, you're much more vulnerable and you're not just finishing off side units. So getting the morale damage resistance is amazing. The speed is amazing. And obviously the charge damage is uh, very important. 10,000 to replace that. Oh, that's why it would have been better if I didn't take so many casualties. But My other units, <clears throat> my other units, I, I think I'll keep around 1,000. These guys are already at 1,200, so maybe I'll go to 1,200. Uh, eventually, I'd want to increase them a bit anyway. So we'll start at 1,200 now. I just had a little star, so I know that they're melee units. So down here, we'll get another melee guy, lower rank. Hmm, I don't know, maybe Harrison? Harrison sound good? Of course, sounds good. Oh, mercy. No mercy for mercy. All right. Yes, sir. And the good one actually is the MNG Type 2. Um, shoot, I don't have enough for this battle. So I'll just switch to the Springfield. Oh no, it's got low melee. Maybe we'll give him the Springfield? The older one? Um, maybe we'll leave it there now and see what we have for the other guys. Probably shouldn't actually make two melee units. I'm going to have a smaller division, so probably don't need them yet. Yeah, maybe I won't do that yet. Just make three normal divisions. I'll buy the rest. Ah, why bother buying them?
I'm solely choosing my rank by a name that would make sense to me to be more infantry than something else, just to make it easier to remember. Looks like we are going to need to go uh, to get enough guys. How many do I have? 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'll need two more. So we'll put Kemper over on Springfield, or 1855s. <clears throat> at 13 so one more oh do I yeah I got my two cannons there yeah that should be good I don't have a lot of options here I could buy more, I have lots of cash, but I don't want to spend my money buying these guns that I'm really not going to want to use um, as I go to uh, further campaigns. Hopefully I can get most of my weapons through the uh, reputation. Or maybe I can't. Yeah, it's too bad because I don't think I'm going to get enough reputation to get the, M the uh, Type 2s. Oh no, two battles and each gives me four, so I should be able to before Shiloh, yeah, that's good. All right, so uh, supply, uh, I guess I do want some. I'm going to use my two uh, smooth boards to help defend on this battle. I'm <clears throat> going to rely heavily on uh, my horse to flank around and try to take out their cavalry. And the rest of the guys hopefully just don't take too many casualties and don't die. All right, stay alert. It's the first real challenging mission um, on the Confederate campaign. So we'll see how I do. Again, I do know this mission, so it won't be hopefully that challenging. everyone who I'd want. Yeah. Okay. So Kemper will be in the middle here. Try to take some shots. Jack's going to be on his flank. Siegfried's my two-star, so maybe I should put him on the flank so he's less likely to take casualties, and I can wrap this flank around. And these guys will be over here. Two cannons right by here, so we can get some canister once they charge us. My horse will try to harass their horse and not take casualties. Last time I played, I almost wiped out them early, and then they'll soon loop around and try to get the backside, get some um, artillery and supply wagons. Something like that. All right. Kemper, uh, actually maybe I will still detach for him. Um, maybe I'll use these skirmishers actually as little chargers. I've never used a skirmisher as a charger, but maybe with uh, maybe if they keep their perks, it can work. I don't know. We'll see. Good. Ooh. So they're charging already. Hopefully I can lure them all the way back. 
Oh, they're not charging anymore. Hopefully I can still lure them right in. Looks like I could have brought Bringer. I, I remember in a previous battle I, I brought higher, <coughs> more uh, cavalry, and they had about 420. So I'm probably at the minimum here, at 390 or whatever they're at. So hopefully I'll be able to break those guys and then charge them. Going well so far. Keeping my other cavalry here just as a guard in case they do try to come and maybe I can lure somebody else into charging. Oh, here comes somebody else. Oh, they are charging, that's excellent. Don't want to lose them. Again, I think they were about 420 beforehand, so really I could have had much larger uh, cavalry divisions, but that's okay. I'd like to charge them right now, but I just get into position of <clears throat> the other uh, cavalry and they take shots at me. So I'll just chase and get some fire as I can. These guys are really taking me for a ride. That's too bad. Usually I can pin them in the corner. In the forest, I'm not going to do too much to them, so probably going to let them go. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. Let's see if we can get these guys now. Carmichael's recovered and is charging me. That's a little crazy. I don't want to fight him while he's charging, so I'll try to lure him out. Oh, we have the other infantry coming in. So we're going to have to bring our horse around in a second. charge those guys get one shot off and then once these guys hopefully break which they should do quickly probably as they're wavering we'll go charge those guys there's your artillery that really can screw you over I want to get rid of the artillery as soon as possible my charge is back up so hopefully I can take Powell out these guys charging in here even though they don't have melee weapons, with them routing shouldn't be a problem. Oh, three artillery, nice and close. That's going to hurt. 
I'd love to charge them now, but that would just end in death. Closer, that's scary. All right, start sending these guys around. Here comes the first charge. The two Napoleons should weaken them. Oh, they both fired already. That might be a little too soon. I'm gonna have to back Jackson off. I'll have enough time to fire another volley. I don't know if I will. Looks like we're going to be engaged first. Actually, maybe I should back off and let Hood take them. Hood has the benefit of the fortifications, which gives them some melee defense. And nice, we're going to get another volley off from our cannons. Should weaken them nicely. Oh, firing at the wrong guy! So they'll take some good casualties. We'll get rid of them. But they're still big. Well, not that big. See if we can break that marsh to open up their cavalry, and then we can get Kemper charging in. 
wrapping around that flank. While the rest of these guys hold up those massive swarms of infantry. These guys will charge in as we are moving out. Here comes Marsh. And Wraith. That's going to hurt. Kemper's going to have to take Marsh out then. Looks those guys can turn fast. That's unfortunate. They've retreated here though, so actually maybe we'll do a charge right through. We can be successful here. Right through Marsh and into. I don't like fighting into my own cavalry, but oh, and they're taking some good casualties there. Morale's dropping. back up. Excellent. There's wavering. We're moving in. Let's get Siegfried out here flanking. Let's see what Kemper does against a new artillery one. Wow, pretty good, even with charge perks. That's excellent. Unless I got hit by artillery or something, I wasn't watching. He was at, or maybe I clicked on somebody else. That's too bad. Oh, looks like you talked a lot of casualties too. Um, somehow the artillery is still up despite being engaged. That's disappointing. Something I didn't know about detached skirmishers. These guys broke nicely. Still getting more casualties than they're taking. Maybe it's just a volley or something, I don't know. I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to help these guys. I don't know what's going on over there. Oh, maybe not. I can take fire coming in. Oh, volley should be down. Artillery down, this battle will be much easier to contain. I'll be able to pick at them and just hold off their charges. If I can finish off this charge, I don't know. Looks like I'm not getting many casualties there. Yeah, Kemper did terrible in that charge. I'm not sure why. I don't like leaving that one artillery alive. I really wanted to kill it. Might be too late now. That should be fairly easy to break.
Oh, they're heroic. They won't be so icy. Oh, so here comes a big charge. So uh, here's one of the more challenging ones, especially if you don't know what you're doing, but if you do know, uh, I mean, I did take 100 casualties there, 150 there, so not very ideal performance. Um, these guys are all rookies, though, so it's not such a big deal. Still lose horses and sharps. See, just clicking on the horses made them retreat. I don't know if that really does anything in this situation. I'm charging, that's good. I think we'll give Henry a little break. Maybe we'll leave him in the forest when we do, though. charging, I don't know what who. Break, see if we can break this guy before we charge him. Looks like Marsh might be charging a Kemper as well. So we should be able to... Actually, I'll let him break, so we'll hit the second marsh. Get some shots off on these guys. That'll be tough. Oh, there we go. Don't want to shoot. That was pathetic. charge if I can get it. Looks like a big one. Don't know if I should really charge Kemper in. I could break these two brigades, but to what point? They're in a fine position as they are.
get my commander down here just to make sure the hood doesn't break. Oh, he's already a little low. Jackson might have to pop in and take over the fortification. It's gonna break. Oh, Tuttle's coming in too. Oh, so we got a lot coming in. Basically all of them. Richard's just still surviving and taking casualties of me. Well, at least he's firing at my skirmishers and not somebody else. I don't know. Yeah, Hood's almost for sure gonna break. All right, let's send Kemper down. Hood's going to pull out, but Jackson will take his spot. Kemper coming in. I should be able to hold this nicely. Oop, my guys overran it. That's frustrating. Wasn't paying attention. How's Kemper doing? Oh, he's taking some casualties. They're routing now, so he'll get some better casualties. Should probably keep those sizes larger. I think that was my whole brigade broke. Wow, they actually routed Hood over there. around, see if we can get Richardson gone. Or maybe not. Oh, God, nice. Still taking casualties, but good shape now. Get Kemper out of there. He did not do impressive at all. Maybe that's my fault. Maybe I just suck at melee, but that was an uninspiring display by Kemper. I'm usually used to using uh, much larger melee brigades, so maybe it's just I'm not used to using uh, small melee brigades. Some, a couple uh, moments here where they can still attack. 
but realistically the rest of the battle is just going to be circling them and finishing off these troops. Guarding their artillery, it's unfortunate. I'd love to go in there and take them out. I'll get the chance eventually, though. All right, let's let things play out a bit. flanked, so I can move these guys over now. like that artillery opened up. Be careful that with there's no unspotted ones over here, and there might be. Ah, lost my first commander. That's too bad. Oh, I do have a spotted one so we'll see if I can I'm moving kind of quick oh two of them I'm gonna have to back out I was gonna charge in there a few more left than I expected supplies. Try to big sink free from the round the side here. some casualties to back you off. It's too bad, it looks like I lost the cannon. At least there's only one. situation where recon would be pretty nice to have, and I do not have. 
our reinforcements are here much too late to really do anything effective. I'll still bring them in and help clean up with them. That's the only reinforcement I get. Oh, I thought, for some reason, I thought I got all 13 guys. Or maybe they're still coming. Got to refresh Cabell too, he's not up to 200. I was hoping they wouldn't be able to shoot him there. There's another guy right there, if I'm remembering correctly. Desperate left charges are always nice because they stop firing at me. And they uh, are easy to put heavy casualties on. fighting that skirmisher, those skirmishers over there. Well, that was dumb. Just slow him down, but we have lots of time. Oh, more casualties. Ah, oh, I thought I kept him out of the way.
Oh, that's much closer. Hair is still there. Didn't expect that. See, now it's time for Amelia Brigade to shine. I could take Kemper in charge, but at this point it's not really needed. But let's do it anyway. cleaned up so I didn't actually need to bring them around. Let's see if I can take out one of these brigades that's right in. for this early in the game. See, when they fire and then they turn, they kills their reload. See, like that, and they only get a little shot off. So whatever, it just won't fire anymore. is using, wow, DNCs. These guys are equipped. <laughs> Union definitely has the goods. I've played too many Union campaigns. Not used to my opponents having such good weapons. being effective all the way back there. <laughs> What a difference. And sharps, nice. Oh, I lost them. Oh. Give me some more experience at least.
right. Um, hmm. Still kind of sloppy, uh, but not too bad. Uh, casualties, didn't lose too much. Basically didn't break any of them. We got a total of uh, 6,000 and 5,000, so up to 11,000 for the 12,000 that we uh, killed or captured, so that's very good. Uh, much better. Last time I played this, I told you I screwed up my cavalry. I lost about 400, so much better with my cavalry this time. Hmm. Oh, yeah, disappointing on that melee. Uh, without the size, they really are quite vulnerable and don't kill as fast. So maybe, hmm, I don't know. I'll have to think about what I want to do. Jackson, that's sad to lose. I um, don't even know who his replacement was. Looks like he doesn't, didn't get a promotion because I think these guys were guys I hired. Oh, maybe Iverson? No. Yeah, Iverson, I guess, was his replacement. No, oh, and he did get a promotion to lieutenant colonel, so not so bad. Capture 7 or 20 Enfields. Wow, I can have a whole infantry division with those. Those are beautiful weapons. Really good. Uh, some more sharps for my carbine, for my carbine cavalry. I got 12 pounders. Some more 12 pounders. Nice. I can top my guys out plus the one I lost. Don't like the revolving rifle, so I'll probably just end up selling it. Uh, some no, new Colts. Uh, that's good to help replenish my melee cab as well. Burn sites are probably never, never good enough of. DNCs I might use if I get enough of them, but I don't know if I'll buy them. So Anyway, uh, that's uh, one of the tougher ones, but as you can see, if you know what you're doing, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So yeah, I'll need one more point to go six divisions for Shiloh, which we'll use in our last time. Get you up to 400. Actually, I could probably get you at 500 now. There's more cavalry in this one, but I'm not so worried about it. Oof, veterans are expensive, but they are good. I would like to do veterans, but let's see what the cost difference is. 10,000 for a pretty minor difference because they're pretty rookie, so I'll actually do rookies just because we've just started with him. Nice, we got some sharps. Excellent melee calf. So here for the melee calf, I don't know what to do with that. Hmm. Question is, am I eventually going to turn my melee calf into a shooter calf anyway? Or do I want to have one specifically just for melee? I don't know, I'll think about that for a sec. And these are all rookies, it's not worth paying the cost. Well, it took a beating on that map. Give him rebores this time, and remember that he's got rebores, so I can use a more, ex more of an expenditure. I'll buy four. Siegfried took way too many casualties, and that'll end up costing me five thousand. Oh, what a disappointment! Neely was. Really, I should have him up at like 4,000. Then he'd be effective, but the scaling gets out of control. I don't know. Only 118 of those left. I'll go for the type 2s from at 1126. Hmm. Oh yeah. So if I need it's three fifty. No. Oh, Harpers. They're pretty good. Go Harpers, put them at three fifty. 
And we give, oh, actually, let's give Siegfried those ones. Do I have enough of them? Where are they? Enfield. Oh, 1150, just short. I'll give it to Kemper. <laughs> that wouldn't be very effective. You do have a good melee stat, but they're really just great for long range. Yeah, 45% at doing 5 damage on average. Compared to these, 41% doing about a little over 4 damage. So they're doing about 30% more damage. Nice weapon to have. Um, really like on Siegfried. Should I buy 50 of them? I guess I'll maybe I'll buy 50 of them. Just to level them out. 3,000. <laughs> Put pawns with the harpers. What's that? All right, and Henry. Hmm. Do I bother going full melee? And Kemper. I think I'm gonna go back to my original plan. Maybe I'll just have one melee brigade per division, and I'll make it a large one. How much is that going to cost? Oh, not too bad. To go to 4,000, be 30. That's not even that bad. 34,000 to get two stars. Yeah, that's why going training is so amazing. You can really upgrade them. Do I want a 4,000? It's like three extra brigades. That's, uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. I'll pull one of those, keep the other guys at 1,200. We'll see how that works. And I'll try a full melee brigade, I think. Yeah, I'll go full melee. The speed will be nice at being able to chase things down. Nah, actually, no, I'm going to go shooter. Yeah, I'll keep him as a shooter. Uh, I'll leave him with uh, Colts for now. Or maybe he's higher level. I should switch him off. Just melee cav, uh, when you have a really big battle, they require so much micromanagement. You can't use them in the big battles highly effectively. So they end up just walking around the back line and trying to do charges at artillery and picking off supply. And uh, carbine cav, on the other hand, are very effective because they can stay by your lines and really poke at people very easily without too much micromanagement. Hmm. Seventy-two melee. But I mean, that'll be great for the carbine cab anyway. And yeah, maybe I should turn this guy in and put Appleby on carbine. Yeah, we'll go full shooter. I don't have any weapons to switch them off, though. Hmm. I'd like to switch their weapons over, but I need to switch them into something. And I don't think I want to disband him. Or can I? Is he kind of near rookie stats? Actually, pretty close. Yeah, so let's put, let's get Apple, Appler out of there. Put Henry on the Sharps. Get Appler back in. Hold on the Colts. Okay, looks like you're ready to go for round two. Um, oh, I don't need any supplies for this battle. All right, oh, it looks like got an extra division there. That's nice. What are these guys equipped with? I think they got the shotguns. I can't tell till I start playing. All right, my horses will charge in. Want my uh, want 
my smooth bores up here to really hit them, maybe keep them in the forest. And Cabell isn't in, and I don't really need him for this mission to give everyone else some experience. Yeah, okay. All right, let's try that. Oh, maybe I'll, where's Kemper? There he is. Uh, well, let's do it like this. All right. I really want to keep it when you attack these guys they tend to retreat over here i'd really like to keep them in so that's iverson is going to try to stay over here hood can be there and help force them in siegfried i'll try to keep protected over here and kemper up there the rest of these guys can deal with this, this front load here Now let's get my skirmishers out. Get my AI guys in to try to take some casualties. I'll leave Siegfried intact, intact just so his skirmisher doesn't take casualties. No need for skirmishers from Kemper. And hood bring some over there. All right, let's see how this works. So if you don't know, there's a whole column down coming down here, and I need to capture their supplies. And after I catch them, they get reinforcements from both the top over here and over here. And I want to engage the top first, wipe them out, and then slowly take out the bottom ones. The mission tends to be pretty easy. Let's see how it goes, though. Last time um, it was I remarkably screwed up. Oh, they split. That should make it more of a challenge. So the idea is I'm going to run my cavalry through here before they can really uh, get shots off of me. I don't know how true that's going to be. But we'll see. Not true at all. Stop it. Treat them. The whole mission is about capturing those supply wagons. They're pretty easy to capture, though. Robinson turns really fast, so not a good idea to fight him. I didn't mean to stop. Oh, already lost 36. Thank God those are the rookies. not mean to send those guys for it either. I do want those guys in there. Good, they're going for this, which will distract them. I'm 
going to have to core fall, so they're going to very likely be destroyed. Dismount Henry over here so we can get some shots in there. See if Appler can pick up the supplies again. I don't know if you'll be able to. Interesting. Wavering, so I'll charge those guys in. I'm charging at my guys. I don't know which ones. It's Henry, I'm going to have to retreat. I, oh, they're routing, so. fast. I need to get those supplies though. I've never had trouble getting the supplies before. I think I might just charge them just to get the supplies easier. Okay, got all the supplies. Hopefully I'll be able to hold on to them.
I have to be careful because I've actually killed both of those divisions now, the whole mission will end. Oh, no, good. So they came in in time. charge in. Uh, maybe I should. No, I don't think I need to yet. Actually, I think I can charge with Kemper. First thing is about charging. You need to get a lock on someone before you can actually charge them. There we go. That's a nice massacre. Let's see what Kemper can do now. They actually made it through anyway. Wow. I, I set up that whole wall. I still made it through. It's incredible. That's more like what I like to see in Kemper. Just the kills raking in. Come on. How can they get through all that? All right, let's send the cavalry over here and finish off those guys I got through.
we got charge importer here charging Lindsay that should be okay oh broke it lost vision That's a sharp angle they can fire on now. It's charging. Well, I don't know. All oh, those guys are. Let's get them out. Oh, both of them are. I could break one of them, charge with that player. The other one, Henry, can take off after Jones weekends. I mean, uh, Davis Week. Oh, come on. Stop. Oh, why would you do that? I mean, it's a good move, but why? <laughs> All right. Davis can fight those guys then. Appler killed! Oh, that's sad. Hope he's not getting much luck today. Uh oh, that's trouble if they free those guys. Wilcox charging at hopefully Jones, looks like it is. Like, don't route towards the enemy. Nice. What were they using? Cook shotguns. Oh, I had a full division there not coming in. Oh, well. Gonna hurt Lindsay. Oh, it stopped. Very nice. Oh, that's gonna hurt Jackson. guys around try to get that cavalry out of the way Maybe these guys should help here actually Thought I got those guys. I guess I did not yet.
I will get Iverson to charge out to Franklin, see if that can do anything to, towards finishing him off. Let's see if we can pick up Jones here. I don't think we're going to be able to, but maybe. Oh, we did good. Looking good. This guy should be finished off soon. Send my horse down here to harass these two brigades. stuff so I think we'll get a charge from Kemper here he's had enough now that those numbers go up very few deaths that's what I like to see Jackson's getting worked over there, that's too bad. Sherman I could hit, I think Wilcox's got a fast turn speed, I wouldn't be able to harass with my horse. guys though. Look at those go up. Still a lot of casualties. <laughs> Neely is not very casualty free, at least not the way I play it. On. I, don't, I don't know what's with that. I'm afraid to put my cavalry in range. Yeah, Wilcox definitely turns too fast, so we'll just go for Sherman with our horse. These guys can harass them.
he's not going to be able to finish that, so he's going to need some help. Exhausted. Jackson's sitting in bad cover, but hopefully the Joneses are taking the shots. Looks like they are. doing anything except keeping them busy and you're not firing for whatever reason I don't know there you go we're not anytime that was the longest volley Should be nice. Instead of having to go to him, he'll come to me. Lindsay should be able to finish that guy off, so let's go ahead. Henry. What happened to those guys? Did I kill them? Hmm, that's suspicious.
All right, only uh, 34 minutes left. I don't know if this ends when the battle ends. I think it might. So we should be a little aggressive just to get some more experience. Blue pond, you are done. Fire from long range sometimes, more than expected. Yikes! I was not able to finish him off. Hopefully, Iverson can help. Of course, artillery really lets my artillery. Oh, I hate when you move them too far and they have to mount up or mount down. It's not a big deal, but. Charging at me. Oh, another huge division over there. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to get to it in time.
that's beautiful. Kill some faster than you need to though, but... darn all right so i should have played faster knowing what was going on there uh, it took a good amount of casualties i wouldn't really call that a clean playthrough but uh still went well Turn 22 cavalry that's mostly theirs let's see about that Cameron doing a good job as a melee unit but he's got to pull his weight if he's going to cause a lot more scaling um, Siegfried did a great job, not many casualties, that's what I like, under 50, you know, to try and protect. Appler I really screwed up and lost half the strength of, that's the, but I'll replace him with rookies. Um, where's Henry? Oh, Henry, oh, beautiful, so got some nice experience and not many casualties on my carbine cavalry. Yeah, the guys did all right, but took some casualties. That looks pretty good. Uh... Yeah, that sucks to lose a colonel. Um, don't know who we got instead, one of these guys. Um, and another colonel, so maybe Appler came in and then replaced by Timony, who also died? I'm not sure. Ooh, 2,000 Lorenz, that's nice. Some more sharps, although I don't really need them. Could use some more revolvers. And I guess, I guess that translates directly into credits, I'm not sure, but you always get that from this mission. All right, so that's the end of uh, the part of the campaign that I know. I have a uh, next battle. Let's see what the enemy gets. So lots more troops. I think that's all that means. Oh, and more experience. Uh, neither of which I really like. I like when they get weapons instead. So Shiloh's left. I think I can bring in a full division, 24. Yeah, 24. I've played the first uh, part of this, um, and that's it. So I don't really know how it ends, and so it's the end of the campaign that I know. The rest of this should be blind. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But that's enough for today. Uh, thanks for watching if you did. And I'll see you next time.